Oh man, Jeffy, I can't believe we have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Heck yeah, Junior. They're going to be making full court shots behind the back, blindfolded, while having cheerleaders fart in their face like this. Oh heck yeah, they are that good. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh hey Cody, we have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. You want to come? Ooh, I do love the Harlem Globetrotters, but I have something else going on tonight that's even cooler. What's even cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their fingers like this? I mean, that is pretty cool, but I think what I have going on is a little bit cooler. What could be cooler than that? Well, there's this comet that only comes by Earth every 100,000 years, and it's coming by again tonight. How do we know it only comes by every 100,000 years? Well, because last time it came by was 100,000 years ago. Who do we know that was alive 100,000 years ago that can confirm that? Well, we don't know anybody. It's just they can track it. How can they track it? Like, did they send someone up 100,000 years ago to put a tracker on it? Wait, no, no. They use, like, math. Look, Junior, hop off my cock. It's gonna be cool, okay? It's gonna be even cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their nose like this? Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be cooler than that. How are we even going to see it? We just look in the sky? No, you need a telescope. We don't have a telescope, Cody, but what we do have is three tickets to see the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Well, Junior, look in front of you. The camera? No, next to the camera. Whoa, a telescope! Where'd this come from? Oh, I got it from the telescope store. This puppy cost me 600 smackaroonies. You spent $600 on a telescope? That's the most nerdy thing I've ever heard. You know what you could have bought with $600? 60 Harlem Globetrotter tickets. Yeah, but I think it'll be worth it. This is pretty cool. So, we just go outside and see it? Well, yeah, yeah, Junior, I mean, think about it. This is only going to happen once every 100,000 years. Even your great-great-great-grandkids aren't going to be able to see this comet again. Well, are you sure it's going to be cool? Like, it's going to be even cooler than seeing the Harlem Globetrotters spin a basketball on their wiener like this? Yeah, yeah, guys, it'll be way cooler than that, I promise. You won't regret it. Now, come on, help me get this telescope outside. <sighs> okay. Ugh, all right, you pickle lickers. You ready to see something so old only cavemen have seen it, but they didn't even know what they were looking at because they had stupid little cavemen brains, but we know it's a comet because we have technology? Sure. All right, I just have to look through this little thing here. Uh, Junior, could you move? Why? Because I can only see your butt, which normally I wouldn't complain, but you know, like 100,000 years, I can see your butt any day. Oh, look, it's the Big Dipper. You want to see the Big Dipper, Junior? Sure. Okay, pull down my pants. <laughs> Actually, it's so cold out here, it's more like the Little Dipper, but, uh... Oh, look, there's Orion's belt. I wish you'd pull it off and spank me with it, that naughty little constellation. Where's the comet, Cody? Uh, I have the, the telescope pointed right where it needs to be. It should be... Oh my god, there it is! That's so cool! Oh, where, where, where? It just went by. Wait, wait, I wanna see, I wanna see! Well, it's gone now, Junior. It's gone? Yeah, it was going like 75 million miles an hour. I mean, it's gone. Well, when, when can we see it? 100,000 years from now? Wait, it's already gone forever? Well, yeah, Junior, I mean, it was zooming. It's gone. Wait, we came out here, we, we missed the Harlem Globetrotters for this? Well, well, look, I'll find something else cool. Like, like, look, there's Saturn. You can see Saturn. Let me see. What, that, that's just a little dot in the sky. Well, but that's Saturn, though. It's a star. Not a, that's, not, that's not Saturn. It's not a star. It's just a planet. It's far well, away. Co Cody, I, th I think the comet's back. What, what are you talking the about? The comet's back. Look. What, oh, my God. What is that? What, oh, God. It's getting closer. It's headed right for us. Oh, oh, hey! Uh, Cody, what's that? It's a meteor, Junior. And it landed in my backyard? Yeah. What are the odds of that happening? I don't know. Like one in a trillion? Oh, my God. I want to touch it. What? No, Junior, don't touch it. it. It might be like a million degrees. It just fell out of the sky. It was on fire. Well, we have to take it inside, Cody. It's a meteor. I don't want anyone to take it from us. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let, let's grab it. Uh, Junior, I can't believe we actually found a meteor. It really came from outer space? Yeah, Junior, you saw it with your own eyes. Like all the way from space? I said yes, goddammit. Mm, you smell that, Junior? That's what space smells like. Mm. Oh, it smells like crap. Yeah, but they, they say space smells like burnt steak, so I guess that's what it smells like. I want to lick it. Wait, don't lick it. It smells bad. Well, come on, Junior. When am I going to get another chance to taste space? I'm going to give it a little lick. Ugh. Oh, oh, God, that does not taste good. Oh, what's, it, what's it taste good? It tastes like bunk. <laughs> what's it taste good? <laughs> what's it, what's it, what's it, taste it tastes like, like bunghole, Junior. Oh, hey, can I try it? No, no, Junior. It, bunghole, it, 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 it's an acquired taste. You don't want to taste so it. So it tastes bad? Yeah, it tastes like straight turd. Oh, so what do you think it's made out of? Well, I mean, rock, probably. What, do you think it's made out of diamonds or gold or, or some material we haven't even found yet? I, I mean, I, I don't know. But, I mean, what if it's radioactive and gives us all cancer? What? You just licked it. Oh, my God, you're right. I, I think we should call an expert just to be sure. No, Cody, we're not going to call an expert because if we call an expert, they're going to come take this from us and take all the credit and take all the money. What if this is how Bill Gates made all his money? I, I don't think Bill Gates made his money from a meteor. I think he made his money from making Microsoft. How do you know he didn't find Microsoft inside a meteor? Because that doesn't make sense. How would you find software inside a meteor? What if it was like inside like a, a, a thumb drive inside the meteor? I, I don't think that's what happened, Jimmy. That's insane. What if the next iPhone's in here? I don't think Apple gets their iPhones from meteors that fall out of the sky. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll, we'll call uh, an expert, but what kind of expert do we call? I think we should call a meteorologist.
So we're going to have a cold front coming down from the north this week, and that's going to bring a lot of cold weather, hence the name cold front. Whenever I have a cold front, it causes it to shrivel. So you can be expecting one to two inches of snow in the Chicago area this week. So watch out for black ice. That's going to try to take your car off the road because that black ice is very slippery. So now we're going to go down to local weather here in Florida. Uh, you're probably wondering why I just gave you the Chicago weather report. Well, I have a buddy flying into Chicago this week, and he wanted to know the weather. So there you go, Bobby. Uh, here in Florida, it's going to be hot again. You know, big surprise there, you know, low 80s, high 80s all week, and it's going to be... Hey, hey, are you a meteorologist? What are you kids doing in here? Well, are you a meteorologist? Yes, and I'm trying to do my job right now. Well, we need your help. Well, I I'm in the middle of the weather room. Wait, 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 what, what happened to my pants? Oh, your pants are green, so they're blending in with the green screen. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like I have no pants on. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that so great? you're a meteorologist, right? Yes, I'm a meteorologist. Can you come help us? Well, okay, fine. Uh, sorry, folks, uh, that's all the weather for today. If you forgot what I said, just, you have an iPhone, look it up. All right, what do you kids want that's so important you had to interrupt my meteorology? You know what's important? Colon health. I'm gonna go take a stink. Okay, so what do you guys want? Well, you're a meteorologist, right? Yeah, you keep asking me that and the answer's still yes. Well, we have a meteor here for you. Oh, well see, I don't do that. You're a meteorologist, you mess with meteors. No, I just do weather. You'd be called a weatherologist then. Well, no, meteorologists just do weather, that's all we do. Well, next thing you're gonna tell me, biologists don't study bisexual people. That's not what that means either. Well, my whole life's a lie. Well, how do you even know this is a meteor? I saw it fall from the sky. Well, it sounds like a meteor. Oh God, it smells like dookie. Because space smells bad. See, you know more about space than I do. Why don't you figure this out? Because I thought a meteorologist would know about meteors. Sorry, I'm dumb. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not what we do. We just handle weather. So what else are you good for? Well, not much. I mean, just 80 year olds watch me on the news so that they can go, oh, it's going to rain tomorrow. I need to cover my patio furniture. That's what I think 80 year olds sound like. Look, I'm a weatherman. Just call me a weatherman. So then what am I supposed to do about this? I don't know. Just talk to an actual scientist, somebody who'd actually know. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back to work. Wait, is that my green screen back there? Oh my god, I'm not really a meteorologist. I'm a fraud! I'm just a big stupid fraud! <laughs> oh, man, I'm bored. You hear that? A spaceship detecting that humans have found a meteor. Yeah, it's gonna be worth seven blood tokens. Which will be rich. Let's go to Earth and grab it. Sorry about that, Junior. I had to go make a stinkeroni and cheese. Minus the roni and the cheese, so it was all stink. You have a piece of toilet paper on your shoe. Oh, dang it. Get that off. Yeah. What'd the meteorologist say? He said he doesn't deal with meteors, just weather. But he's a meteorologist. I know, I said that too. So what do we do now? He said to call a scientist. Okay, I guess I'll go get the phone book and look for scientist. Oh, I'll answer the door. You'll answer it? Yeah, I will. Me. I will now leave to go answer the door. Hello? Come on, let's go! What's taking Jeffy so long? Bulls! I didn't know there was gonna be aliens. Now give us this meteor. Ow, what was that for? I told you people were gonna try to steal this meteor. Yeah, it's very valuable. It's worth at least seven blurp tokens. Seven blurp tokens? Wait, how much is that? I'm, I'm gonna Google it. Um, yep, tough for time. Hold on, uh, seven blurp tokens to US dollars. <gasps> oh my God, Junior, that's $276. Oh, you're not stealing this. Yeah, we're not gonna let you just come up here and rob us. I have a gun. All right, take it. Damn, I guess we're getting robbed. All right. I'm gonna put my gun down. Let me just... This is really heavy. Can you help me? What? Oh, grab the gun. Oh, you think I should grab it? Grab the gun. Oh. Ah -ha! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! He said, please, you still killed him. Yeah, I feel pretty shitty about that. You're a savage, Cody. I'm sorry. No regard for human life or alien life. Oh, man, I'm a monster. What do you do about that one? Uh, uh yeah. Well, you're just killing all the aliens, Cody. I know, I'm panicked. I'm sorry. Oh, God. You're a bad guy. What have I done? Oh. All right, so look, I think we should take this meteor to Dr. Finkelschitz. Yeah, that's a good idea. We know where he lives. Yeah, and then he could tell us how much it's worth, if it, if it has, like, diamonds in it, if it's poisonous. Yeah, good idea. Come Let's on. Let's go. Wait, it's heavy. It's heavy. I need help. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're hunky. You say you're hunky. I will now create the perfect beverage to go with my Lunchable because my mom forgot my Capri Sun! Mom, you slut! Okay, first I will combine a little bit of green Powerade, yes, with a little bit of the blue Powerade, yes, yes, and then a little bit of the red Kool-Aid! Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! <'em. laughs> oh, this is going to be delicious. Hey! What? What? Who are you? How 
did you get in here? Mom, why did you let these children in my laboratory? Uh, we found this meteor. It landed in my backyard. A meteor, you say? Good. You know what that means? Aliens. I will take a look at this meteor. Ooh. This is not a meteor. Well, yes it is. It fell in my backyard. I saw it fall from the sky. That is because this is poo-poo that fell from an airplane. What are you talking about? Well, you see, the, the planes, they collect the poo-poo from the passengers when they use the toilet, and then they drop it from 30,000 feet, and it creates kind of a, a sheet rock. And then you have found this and brought it to me during my lunch break. So thank you very much for that. Ew, I like the turd. Let's get out of here, Cody. Yes, scram. Junior, I can't believe I licked a turd. Nobody told me it was a turd. Try to get the taste out of my mouth. Hit like to get the taste out of my mouth. You didn't hit it yet. It still tastes like shit. Thank you. And if you didn't hit like, you're mean. So, Cody, like, this is an actual turd rock? Yes, Junior. I thought it was a meteor. But you said it smelled bad. Well, that's... I, I didn't... Uh, Junior, don't remind me. It's gross enough. So, two aliens literally died over a turd rock. Yeah, I'm just glad Jeffy left before they showed up. So, what do we do with it? Do we, like, flush it down the toilet? No, Junior. It's a rock. We just throw it away. Okay. I'll go get a trash bag. Yeah, this is gross. Yeah, it's mine. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs>